Hey guys, so that's here, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make a, um, what's it called? Stopwatch in Visual C Sharp. So, you need your IDE running, mine will be Visual Studio 12, of course. And I'm gonna open a new project, right here. Oh, I'm hitting the mouse so hard. Uh, stop watch tat no it's gone there we go. tat oh uh, yeah so yeah okay so we will need uh, a few labels here and buttons so I'm gonna start with the buttons button 1 button 2 we need label one gonna change the properties here text is zero we need a few zeros here and there font gonna something cooler here we need pan and text I think that will do the job. Okay, so we got this. Drag one. There we go. So this will be where's his name? There we go, name. Start actually start button text will be start and this one will be uh reset button. Reset. Get it close up. Okay. I think this will be enough. Just gonna cha change the form text to stop watch. And sizable to fixed dialog. Good. So, double click on s reset first. So, when I know the name of this, so uh, label seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Five, six. Uh, good. Everything. <coughs> Sorry. Everything goes to zero. Mm, now, I think these are all we need. Well, we need to declare something. So for, for first, we're gonna declare. Uh, the ints, the integers, integers, int, and I call them ms zero one for milliseconds equals zero. Just copy. Seconds, minutes, and h. This okay. Uh, and bool running, we need bool running 
equals equals false at at start at beginning. Good. So next, uh, this is the reset button. We need a timer, of course. Oh, uh, here we go. So first, the start button. If running equals false equals equals I always forget that as you know me I always forget that so if running equals false timer one dot start so if it's not running we start it it's uh, pretty self-explaining running equals true then and the button because we want to have just one button um it's called not button it's called start start button text equals stop now we do the same for stopping almost the same running equals true we stop the timer what's wrong here oh uh, again seriously running equals false and start button dot text 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 equals equals start pretty logic okay so now we can double click the timer and we add all these um, these here to here so I'll comment this for milliseconds. So always MS zero run plus plus because this is the very main thing. Now, if our MS zero one equals 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 uh, my equals can be not enough and too much, but never right. Okay, so if it equals 10 and um, MS 10, what's this? Is not equal to 10. Wait, not equal to 5 because we have 50 seconds. Um, then, then, ms10 plus plus. Plus plus, what it does, it adds 1 to the integer milliseconds 10. Good. And ms, of course, 0, 1 equals, uh, uh, see, uh, yes, equals zero. Now we can copy this uh, for no, of course. Um, else, I hope I can do it like this. I did not, but I hope it will still work. Else. MS, MS equals zero. No, wait, that's not true. Because else if MS zero one equals equals nine and 
uh, ms10 equals equals 5. Well, do we have 50 in a millisecond? Or do we have 100? Well, it's just, uh, you can change it if I'm wrong. <clears throat> but the technique is the same really much. Second zero one plus plus ten equals zero. zero. So if we run this, we can see that nothing happens. Timer, timer is one thousand. Uh, we can't see anything changing because we need label mm, Quebec, Quebec, label 1 to 10 represented so we'll start with 1 dot text equals the first one is this one? No, this one. Label one. One is the minute. Okay. Minute zero run to string. It doesn't work like that. Okay. I thought it work. I thought it works for this, but okay. Convert to string. No works. Okay, I'm fine with that. One, two, three, and H zero one here. Good. Now it should work. When the first presentation start still doesn't work mm, we'll fix this at least we can do the form running start button should be oh yes of course I'm so dumb this should come I should I said cut this should be here and then now works seven eight nine see it now works oh you see it it shows ten but because it doesn't know that we don't want to have ten there okay four seconds if sec zero one equals equals 10 basically the same thing how oh, we can copy this and then change and for minutes sec h is this all? I think so. This is zero one, okay. Form loads. This is label eleven. Date time time now should do it. What's with this? Or wasn't or not yeah, used. Oh, now it works. This here and label 11 text equals. Can I now use time now dot? No, I can't convert to string. This should do it. Time now, what? I just declared it. 
No! This is time now! Oh, of course. Change. Uh, some stupid things. Here and there. Bros. See, now it shows. Oh, of course. Another timer, because it will... It will stand still. Stands deal, nobody moves. Timer to start. Uh, brackets, don't forget the brackets, very important. What? You kidding me? What's wrong again? A timer too? Oh, wrong place for brackets. I messed this shit. Really messed up. Okay, there we go. So, uh, uh, this is annoying. I want the form to start in the center. Here we go. See, the time works. Two, three, boom! Who cares? There's something to fix here. <clears throat> uh, but, the reset button should not reset the labels. Mess that up. It should reset the ints. Uh, MS01 equals zero. Now it should work with the reset button. Oh, we didn't even start. So we stop this. Oh, it doesn't stop. What? 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 Stop should reset it. So, we click first time. Oh, you know what we do? We don't do if, we do else. Ah. Else if here. Else if. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Now works. Uh, pretty cool here. Uh, this is the timer we just uh, created. You see the seconds going really fast here. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I thank you for watching. Whoa, it's 28 minutes here. Guys, this is shit. Oh shit. Well, okay, so I thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Peace out.